Hello guys, welcome to Survival Russia. So since I had a lot more questions about this uh, wool hunting suit here than I actually expected to get, then uh, I'll do my first impressions video now. Also today I don't have uh, time to head to the forest and so on, so uh, nice day. Why not do the video on this uh, suit here now, so stay tuned. In general terms, this suit consists of a big heavy coat as you can see, and uh, trousers that goes up to above the chest. The suit and trousers here are made of the fabric that was used for making the great coats from the First and uh, Second World Wars. As the manufacturer, my friend Vasily in Moscow says that the even when wet they will still keep you warm. Other advantages is that uh, they're very quiet. You don't sound like a shopping bag out hunting. Also it sh should give a sort of like a good uh, terrain match or camouflage. We can look in behind the forest there. It's relatively brown and white and uh, also the material does not reflect anything. He also says it doesn't reflect the uh, ultraviolet light and so on and so forth. Let's get on the other camera and let's take a look at the trousers first here. But here we have trousers. As you can see the, the knees here are figure sewn. And we have a zip lock here that opens from, from below and from above of course. Inside it has this camouflage liner here, this uh, fleece. The fleece liner goes down to a, about here or something. But we can just turn one of the legs inside out to have a closer look at that. That's how the inside of the legs are constructed. The synthetic material here of course helps to, to reduce the friction. Pockets here also have zip locks. There are pockets on each side pocket here on the left side of the chest. The inside of the pockets are very yellow. We'll get back to that in a second. Then we of course have the suspenders up here, some plastic buckles. Also we have these big heavy belt loops. They continue onto the front here. There are two of them there, three on the back. As you can see the big belt loops there, they enable you to use a heavy duty uh, army utility belt. Quite useful if you want to carry a little bit of uh, equipment on the inside and a wide belt is always nice, it supports really nicely. So the really useful thing about heavy wool is that of course it will not burn. So around a campfire you don't really need to be afraid of uh, burning holes in your suit and this and that. Also no body heat will really uh, go to the surface of the jacket so when it's snowing and so on, you'll just have a lot of snow sitting on the jacket. Basically, you can just shake your jacket and, uh, and, and the snow will fall off. We can try and test it with the trousers here. So we have collected some snow on the trousers. The snow is gone. As I say many times, old school is the best school. But uh, before I take the jacket here off and show you the features of the jacket, I can show you the pockets here. These two large pockets, they are orange on the inside. So if you want to be seen, we all know this color here from hunting, right? I will say it's safe to say that you can see me pretty well here by now, right? And the same goes for the upper pockets here. So you don't need to worry about being shot like a moose or a deer, really. You can just turn the pockets out if you want to. The hood, you can zip off. The hood has adjustment velcro here. Of course, for adjusting the depth of the hood, right? Up on the, each shoulder, on the right and left side, there's this uh, rubberized band. It's of course for the rifle sling, so it will not slide off. The hood also has uh, cordage to cinch it down if need be. The jacket has a inner pocket on the right side with a zip lock. Also on the other side it has a zip lock. And of course again we have the fleece liner. This is what the sleeve looks like from the inside. Again we have the, the nylon or anyway artificial material here. We have a elastic cuff. Another feature here is this uh, chest pocket sitting up relatively high. 
It's for hunting radio, but I guess you can carry other stuff in it. But it's actually made for a hunting radio. It has four buttons for extra support. And surprise, surprise, with the buttons comes button holes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This jacket here has uh, fastly become my favorite jacket around here because it's really nice and warm. I would assume they're very good to sit uh, and be stationary in and wait for game and so on, but the testing gonna reveal that, of course. I can see these two parts here actually being used together, of course, <laughs> but I can also see them being used separately because the trousers going up to, to the chest here, they provide really good uh, insulation around the vital organs and so on so maybe it would be possible to wear a little bit uh, lighter overcoat than, than this one if need be for now I can only say my first impressions are that this is really good then I'm, I'm gonna of course gonna have to see how stitches and all this stuff holds up on in the long run so yeah the suits here they are handmade just like the Siberian boot company it's also just a family business as you might know by now I like family business Vasily who runs Sukonka.com he was kind enough to send me the the most expensive suits he has because he has three variants one for work and one with an anorak and then this suit here for the tiger. I hope you like the video, I hope you like the suit. There will be a link in the description to, to the company. He speaks English and uh, writes English actually. So if you want to contact him, please do so. Also, I would use this uh, video as an opportunity to thank all the donators on PayPal and uh, Patreon. The money from Patreon I will start using uh, to purchase a few Russian-made knives a month. So I can actually show you guys some uh, Russian knives. Hopefully they will, uh, they will arrive a few soon here. So yeah, thank you very much to everybody who helped us out the channel with donations. So check the links in the description, guys. Thank you very much for watching, sub share, subscribe and sub like, I always appreciate that. And until next time, get out and train and get it done. And see you next time right here in Russia. Thank you very much guys.